Now I am ready for step three, solve the white corners. So first of all, I need to make sure that I have the up face as the white cross, which I have here. The correct placement of a corner piece is based on its orientation with the center piece. So notice here, the red center has the red corner, the blue center has the blue corner. As I look at my cube, none of my corner pieces Oh, here's one that's already in the proper location. The reason I know that is because I have the white tile on top. The green tile matches here the center. The red tile here matches the center. So I know that that corner is properly placed. Action one says to locate a corner piece with a white tile in the bottom layer. I see a white tile here. Remember, this is my bottom layer. It happens to be facing down. My, my up face is my white cross, and here's that white tile in the corner. There are three options for the location of that white tile, and I notice that mine is this one all the way on the right because the tile is on the down face. It says if your corner piece is in any of these positions, then go to action two on the next page. Here I am for action two. Rotate the down face, which is this face, until the corner is between the two matching colored center tiles. So I am looking for a corner between the orange face and the blue face. And I notice here I already have the orange face here and here is my blue face. So I simply rotate the down face once to the left. And although these are flipped, I know my corner piece is in the proper location because it is between the blue and the orange faces. Notice here, this tip. To change a white tile from facing down, which is what I have here, to facing front. Hold your Rubik's Cube with the corner on the right face. So here's my corner, and there's my right face. Follow this algorithm. Front face to the right, down face to the left, front face to the left, down face two times to the right. Now my corner is no, my white tile is no longer on the down face, but it's now on this front face. Keeping the white cross on the up face, which I have here, hold your Rubik's Cube so the white tile is on the front face. I am now ready to move to action four. Action four asks you to look at the orientation either right or left where your corner tile is. So notice here, I, option one is on the left or on the right, and that happens to be where mine is, right here on the right face. So I will run this algorithm. Down to the left, right towards me, down to the right, right away. And now I know I have located my corner tile properly. I have the blue tile matching the centerpiece here of the corner and the orange tile matching the centerpiece here. So I know I have that corner piece properly located. I now need to continue the actions to have all of my corners in place. I notice I have another white corner. I need to look at the other two colors. I notice it needs to go between the blue and the red face. So I will rotate my down face until I find it in the right location. So here I am between the blue and the red Back to action four. I have to think about, am I on my right face or my left face? My white tile is on the right again, so I will run this algorithm. Down to the left, right towards me, down away, and right away. Here my corner pieces match, red to red and blue to blue. I am almost there, I have one corner left. I need to find, there's my corner piece. I'm not facing down, so I can go straight to action four. Again, I have it on my right side, which means I come down here and I run this algorithm. Down to the left, notice that this moves the corner piece out of the way. Right towards me brings the corner down. I've heard people talk about this being an elevator. Down to the right brings it back in place and right away from me brings everything back together to the top layer. I now have my completed top layer. If I turn my cube, 
I verify that, that all of my colors match their centerpiece. All of my tiles on the top layer match the centerpiece.